things. Now A4 size, I uh, hope we know like the Xerox paper size is A4 size. And we can make that. Now the next, there is an option called a resolution. So which does mean uh, like uh, how many detail you want to see on the screen. A resolution is nothing but uh, pixels in a particular square inch. So this is uh, 300 to be taken for any print. And if it is to be designed for any display, like on your mobile or projector or computer or in theater, then it uh, should be 72. So here you can also see it by default, like if you are switching to any mobile or video, then it by default comes to 72. So hope we have understood now what is our resolution and how much minimum resolution to be taken and where it is how much. And the next color mode, yes, if you need something to be get pure black and white, let's go for grayscale and if anything to be displayed on the screen, then RGB and uh, CMYK is used for like print, which print offset printing, offset printing are like newspaper, magazine and all things that go for CMYK mode. So hope we have understood which color mode has to be used to wear. And the bitmap is default uh, mode of Windows. So for any Windows presentation like Word, PowerPoint and all things, let's go for bitmap. And lab color is a special color, like LAB is a technical term. So L means luminance, A and B are color components. In all the things we find the color and lights mixed together, but here light and color are separate. L for luminance, luminance means brightness or light value. And AB are color components. So this is a special mode when the color correction and, and all to be done, then LAB mode is uh, preferred. Like if you're doing something on the color, then light will not get effect. And if you're changing the lighting, then color will not affect. So a little bit, we have taken time to understand what is this color modes and which uh, size uh, to be taken care of and how to, how to uh, switch to the industry name and as per the industry, how to switch the sizes. And um, if not this, then if you need to have our own uh, size, then yes, you can able to fill the number, then immediately it will turn into custom size. Custom means uh, user defined size and uh, this is default practicing size. So hope in the new window, we got to know something like what is to be taken care of um, what values to be get add up and background color anyhow it is background color white color is there here it is mentioned white we can switch to the background color whatever the color it will be there in the uh, toolbar on the background we can able to use that and if you need to be get transparent like sometimes we are making logo designing and all things that could be turned into transparent so if you're switching to the transparent we can find a checkerboard on the screen so it is a transparent screen and uh, Control N, if you are switching to the white, then yes, we find the white color. So I hope we have understood now what is the difference between transparency window and a white window. So transparency window is a checkerboard or presentation in Photoshop where if you're doing something on the back side, you can place anything, it will be visible. But if you're doing something on the white canvas directly, then on the back side, we cannot able to place it up over to the object because white color will be overlapping that. So logos and all things are done with transparent background and how to take the transparent background by control N and making it to switch to the transparent. Fine then, so hope we have understood now which size has to be taken where. Now, if something we are making it for the film, then the standard size of the film is 2K. So, and Indian broadcasting something we are doing, then yes, so we can switch to the PAL D1, this is Indian broadcasting size, 720 and 576. Whenever the screen calculation happens, either it's website or mobile or film, then it is always calculated in pixel unit, not like centimeter or inches. But if it's something for physical print, then inches, centimeter, millimeter does matter. But if something is for screen, then yes, screen is always calculated on pixel based. So hope we have understood now, uh, what is the unit setup to be taken? And what is this first window is speaking about? So let's move into the and next tools in the constants. We have done with uh, the brushes in different type of modes and um, the customization of the brush by making our own design, how to make image into a brush. Hope the things are reaching. Yes, with time it comes into the grips. So nothing to get worry. Switch to the pencil. Then it is the rough drawing. So the rough drawing is done through the pencil. And yes, it does have a similar feature of your brush, but it is a, a little hard. We don't find a softness on the brush, but even if soft is there, hardness is low, still we find very sharp edge only. So 
hope we have understood now what is the difference between brass and pencil. So they are both strokes and they are pressure sensitive. It uh, work with F5 button. So the brass uh, windows, all the properties are applicable to this. But only the difference we find inside the pencil, the softness is not there in the edge. And rest of the things are the same with brass and pencil. Now let's move on to the next color replacement tool. Yes, we can able to replace the color of a particular image within very less time just by brushing. So as if the name, the work is so, we can choose a particular color on the foreground. Let us take a red color or green color, anything, and get this tool to work out color replacement. That means it will replace the color with the present color. So hope we can see now how the color is replaced. So what we are doing with uh, color mode before, it is done through a special tool they have given to replace the color. So one color can be replaced with the other colors. So hope we have understood now how does this tool behaves. And the next uh, mix brush tool. Yes, it is a beautiful option uh, which takes the logic of a physical artist. A physical artist never forms the color like a slider. They mix the red color, yellow color or blue color together and they go on mixing like this. And once they find the right color, they uh, they pick the color or they use the color. Here, the using of the color can be done by the picker. So that color comes under your foreground. So it gives a experience of a physical artist color mixing concept. And then, yes, you can take the brush and paint it up as per the requirement. Yes, you can down the size and increase the hardness and paint. So what we have seen here, this color is not created by the slider. It is created by the mixer. So we have understood now how does this uh, mixer brush is going to help us to mix the nearby color and produce the new color. And yes, after producing, you can pick it up and take the brush and paint it up. So hope we have understood now how does this new color are coming because of this color mixture. Yes, it is not only for making some mixing, it is also for blending the things on your screens. It is used. So let us take an example to make a landscape. Yes. We want to blend something. So let, let us feel the color on the screen. Now let's uh, fill it up with one color. Now the same setting is there. I can switch to this and go for Okay, so it is a common area where we can able to make the color to mix this some um, other color. Sand color, okay. It's okay now we have seen how does this come up, but on the long vision, we don't want to show that in very detailed manner. So we want to blur this. So who is going to help us? This color mixer can able to help us. So key focus, so it should not be very sharp. So it creates illusion of making farness and while it is coming to the closer, it is sharp. So the color mixing is done in this way. And yes, you can make the clouds and fill the color and mix it up. So mixer is there always. So you can blend them and the blending is art like once you can get it blend proper, then it mixes with the environment and it creates the impact like this there inside this. And yes, here the intensity and the weight minimum, like flow, how much we want to get it blend. That all things could be controlled with the slider however here. But yes, we have seen now how to blend it together. Now get some mountain kind of concept. Yes, feel the color fast. Yes. And then after state, we take the blend to blend, mix it up. So you can see now it becomes a part of the design. And just a rough designs, just I'm showing you how roughly we can start up making the design and it create an illusion of a part of the canvas because of the which tool? Color mixer, mixer. So the tool name, mixer brush. 
but yes it required uh, interest on landscape then we can take the maximum profit of it so here it's done now the mixture bus very bland so that is an become a part of uh, the canvas I can take some dark color over here and get fill to get a variation. And after that, it should blend with the environment. Yes, blend with the environment. So we have seen now how to make a, a landscape kind of things. And from a long set, the distance, I don't want to see that in detail and get it work out. Yes, you can feel. So, hope we have understood how to make the landscape and get it blend. Right, and now let's uh, put some spots. Of the same color and a little variations. Take the color from your skin and have the eight a lighter strokes. And we have learned about the brush. So make some small lines and get them blend by the color mixers. So highlight area, uh, creating some face design and all things. Then we can put some highlighter part by the normal brush to put the color. and by the mixture brush blend them. You can get water kind of things, road, and everything is the output also. So hope we have understood now, how does the landscapes would have been done. Now get it crop by the help of your crop tool. So hope we have understood now, how does color mixer can able to help us to make the blending of the colors on your skin, right? It could be anything like, so we have just started up drawing on a single canvas. We don't have taken the layers. If you have taken the layers then you can move it up the one mountain to other place and get them duplicate also. Now, hope it is clear. So the bunch of brush is done up, then moving to the left side of your screen. Yes, there are a few tools which is uh, more applicable on the photographs. So healing, spot healing brush tools. So in photo studio, they more use this uh, to remove uh, dust, scratch, spot from the photograph. So we can search photo restoration. There is a department called photo restoration. Uh, it's it, it's a department where we can find this uh, photographs are restored old photograph turned into new photograph this is the original purpose of the photograph why photoshop has been developed because to make photo studio people to give a solution this yes, old photograph to get sketch free it is very difficult so to get rid of this problem photoshop is created but later on photoshop is used in various industry but the main goal of making uh, the software is to give a solution to the photo industry. So photo industry does have a lot of problem like sketches, black and white to color, like damaged photograph are there and we don't see the information at all and we need to generate it and get it new. That all things are done in photo restoration department. Now let us see how does and which tools are going to help us. The first tool inside this is called healing brush tool. As if the name the work is so, it is just a brush and what is to be done? Yes, you can see the brush. Remove this spot in just a magic way. So you can see now before and after. So hope we have understood how to get it before and after. Let, let us make a uh, pattern of it. Why we are making pattern? So at any time you can able to fill the pattern and see the difference on the top layer. So let us remove this as if the name spot healing brush, any spot can be removed within a click. Make the size of the brush down and just brush it up. That is done. What happened, what is the software is doing? He is just pulling the nearby information and placing there. 
So we can find out now how to remove this foot. Just click and go. Yes, the condition where it works, where it doesn't work, we need to know that. If the spot is very small and nearby clear information is there, then it is to be used. Not like the I need to remove the eye. So software will not get it perfect. What is the condition required? The spot should be small and the environment information is enough to fill the spot. At that point, it will work. So it doesn't work on a very big patch. So that's why the name is called spot healing rust tool, not like a patch like this. So software get confused like where to in, get the information. So where to work that we need to understand and where not to work, that is also important. So it is to be get to work out on small spots, which is tiny and nearby information is enough to get it filled. But if the spot is very big, then the other tools will come into the picture. For the timing, yes, we have understood how to remove the spot. Let us see what is the before and after. So get it filled. The pattern already we have done the pattern of this particular photograph. So we can switch to the last pattern. And we can see it here, the things we have done before and after. So hope we have understood now how to remove this spot by this spot healing brush tool. On the top, we have filled the original one and the below the manipulator one is said. So start working with the spot healing brush tool and get it clear the spots. Yes, hope we have understood what is the method of working and what is the logic of working, where it is not to be used and where to use. Fine then, if the spot is big, then we can take the help of healing brush. So hope spot healing is clear. Now, what is the brush name? Healing brush. As if the name, the work is so, what is called healing? Recovering from the wound is healing. So you tell like, I fall down somewhere and my skin is healing. That means what? Old skin will be there and new skin will come. That process is called healing process, not like replacing. That means here the information is there and it will replace by a new information. So old and new both mix together to form the final output. That process is called healing in natural process. That word they have taken and used it over here. So what does the software will do here? If the information around this uh, spot is not enough, then you can able to pick the color from other source. And that is what happening with this healing brush. Now switch to the healing brush, method of working with the healing brush. We'll find a brush. So as if like we got to know, it will take the information from other source to here, then how to take and how to place. Hold the Alt button, then the brush will turn into a stamp like thing. We can take the information by clicking over there, then release the Alt. Now the information comes to you. So you can see now that information is there with you. Now go to the destination and just paint. So you can find two cursor are there. One is cross here and another is circle. Cross is representing from where the information is coming and circle is representing where the things are painting. So hope we got to know what is the use of healing brush. What is the process of working? Hold the Alt button, click on the source, go to the destination and paint it up. And once you're painting, then if you are moving to the right side, the source also going to the right side. If you're going to the left side, the source also going to the left side. So watching to the plus sign, we can able to take the information and place over here. What happens on this final output? It mix that color and present color and find and get the final. So hope we have understood now how to use the healing brush to remove bigger spots. And what is the method of working? Alt click and go to the destination and paint. Healing brush and spot healing brush, both of them doing the same job. But when to use what? That does matter. So hope we have understood these two points and you can see the difference between now, before and after the spot get removed. But we have started with small spot, then a little bigger. Does it okay? So these two of hope it is clear. Now we'll go to the patch tool. As if the name they work is so. It, uh, while working with the healing brush, it takes more time to paint, paint, paint. It, there's no time now. So you need to do it a little faster. So what you can do by the help of your patch tool. That means here the page. You can select this much of area. Now, here the selection start of working. It will do the same job, but it will ask you two things. On the option bar, you can find two options, source and destination, which you want to change. Wherever we select, that is called source. Where you are moving, that is called destination. Here we are asking to the software, make the source to change. Now, 
drag this information and go to the destination and you are looking that information has to come over here and remove it job is done so you can see now how does healing is page tool is going to work out if it is if, if it would have been done with the before tool what is the before tool healing brush yes you can do but it takes more time to brushing so we got to know page tool is a much better tool which make the spot to remove now the same page if you need this information to get press here now you can have to switch here destination to be changed drag this information and press so now the destination get changed so page tool does have two options we can either change the source or destination as per we have selected the things now let us see what is before and after so hope we have understood now how to clear a damaged photograph with the help of our present knowledge now get the source to change get the source to change get the source to change so hope we have understood now how fastly we can able to get the before damage to get it clear fast then slowly the environment to be get changed then color correction black and red to color everything can be done up so hope we have understood like what is the value of the tool how many tools we have learned one two three Bo all the three are doing the same job removing the spot yes whenever the face middle part is there so we need to take a little care because uh, it should match on the pixels proper start removing first level then go for second level moment so it club together to form the color before color and present color will combine together to form the new skin so hope you can see now before and after how does the spot are removed so to make a single photo to get changed in the present market of india like in like rural area or not i'm not talking about metro and all so like 200 300 rupees they charge but coming to the metro then 500 rupees to 1500 rupees it just depend upon the damage so now we got to know what is the value of the tools and how people are taking the benefit of it and fine so let's move to the next texture yes what you can do start selecting this much of area and go to the page tool and drag and drop over so we have seen now how to get it done a little faster we are now selecting with the selection tool and move it up by the page tool but make sure like it is not touching to the other side so hope we have understood how to make this damage area to get clear it to be taken care with smaller values then we'll go for big values right here what is happening before color and the present color both mixed together to form the color the first level treatment will start now then we can go for second level treatment so so to our text tension it can change let it be changed then after the next tool will come into the pictures which will do the finishing touch up to the required so the brightness is missing over here and we can generate the brightness later on so you can take that particular page and place over here so now we have understood how to get the minimum changes first select drag and drop get the minimum thing from the other source yes we can make the photo cutting and get place the next environment that could be done up but here we want to show the original photo only we don't want to show any artificial uh, like colors has been placed or texture has been placed so get this much of area select and get it inverse and again select the wanted things we want to make uh, it to be white color so here we want to press the white right. so we have started up making the bounding box to get changed first so now we see before and after 
damage how it has been cleared. So it is a complete patience of and Photoshop is meant for so. The uh, film posters and all things are later on used like website designing and all, but primarily the software is meant to make photo restorations on your front. I'm just trying to develop this so you can get some idea. Fine, I hope we have understood all these three tools, one, two, three. And we have seen, uh, we have done some changes, but if this skin could have been placed there, then the job will be much more easier. So instead of going to these two tools, we are still going to the next tool that is clone stamp. So it helps to make the information to take from one place to the other place directly. Before it was taken through this healing brush, but it is mixing. But instead of mixing directly the same color, that is called clone stamp. Cloning is a genetical uh, terminology where same genetic information is called cloning. So exact gene information. So cloning of uh, sheep successfully done in US. That means what? Same genetical information in both the sheeps. So that word has been taken. Exactly the same thing happened over here. We can take the same information by holding the alt and going to the destination. So now you can see getting the information from the source and going to the destination and painting up. So let's, let's take once more, hold the alt button, click on the source, go to the destination and paint it up. So let me see why it is not happening. Deselect, if any selection is there, it should be deselect. So you can see now the things are working. Now take the information from alt and click here and go to the destination and paint. So slowly we have started taking the information from this and painting over here. So the canvas could be much more brighter. So now we can select this much of area and we can place this information there by taking the alt and click and go and paint. So hope we have understood now how to get it clear. Now the first job is done, so how to make the information exactly with the same pixel quality because the other tools, what are the things we have learned before? It mixed the things, but here the clone stamp does the work in the same way, but it doesn't damage the quality. The quality remains the same. And you can blend on that on. So, but it is a patchy format, but you should able to uh, get it mixed proper. Yes, brush is working. So switch on this brush and make save dynamics to get off and blend. So hope we have understood now how to make a photo a restoration. So straight way from taking a damaged photograph on canvas and getting it clear. You can find a number of images on the net and start using four tools. What are the four tools we have learned? Spot healing, healing, patch tool and clone stamp. Practical things has been done. Now we'll go for another tool that is called content aware move tool. Content aware move tool work nicely whenever the subject is very small, very small. And we are selecting this and dragging it out. Then software will predict things like if this monument is not there, then sky would have been shown. So this type of prediction software can able to do. So hope we have understood now how to get the content aware tool, content aware, because software will predict if it is not there, then what would have been there? Then what is the condition? The subject should be small and the environment should be big. Then it works nicely. If subject is very big like this, then software prediction cannot be done proper. So it cannot able to predict properly. So it takes a little time to process, but prediction is not much more perfect compared to this. So the reason is uh, the environment is not completely um, smaller than this structure. Now, if something we have moved and it is uh, to be get removed, yes, nothing to get worry. Uh, this place, the original can be placed by selecting this area and asking to the software fill, what is to be fill? The original history to be get filled. So, and in which way? 
with normal mode, hundred percent. So the original information get placed. So hope you have understood now uh, how we can able to get the content ever tool to work out uh, to make uh, the surface design surface to be get fill up without uh, placing any error. So variations we cannot able to find. So th this is a wonderful tool, but condition is there. Subject should be very small. If a horse is there, a small horse in a very big green uh, like land, then easily you can able to move. Because the texture of the grass could replace that. So let us take an example in a practical manner. Horse in a green field. So, like, what is the tool we have learned? But where is to use that? Does that logic is clear? Then it is useful. So we got to know, like, it replaced the things. Then which kind of photographs we need to try? So let us take this example. These two horses to be removed from this background. So copy this and go over here and take a new file and paste it down. Now the subject is very small, right? So we can able to use this content ever tool and get it out. So what you've seen, the horse is not there. Yes, uh, we can able to move this after we can able to fill the color also. So how to do that? Yes, before that, you can make it as a pattern. So define pattern is a command which makes the photograph to save. Now start working this. Then this particular place is clear, but here we find the page. And here you can also fill the pattern. Which pattern? The present pattern. What we have created in the last one. So job is done. So now we find what is the before and after. Before and after. So no need a clone stamp, but condition, yes. Uh, the subject should be very small. Then it works out. So ultimately we are removing one information with the other with all these tools. So at a stretch, we have understood one, two, three, four. And a red eye tool, yes. Uh, nowadays, DSLR came up with a good feature of uh, removing the red eye, but in old photographs, you'll find the eye will glow. Mm -hmm. So it is a practical problem in all photography before. Nowadays, uh, it is not so because inside the camera itself, it come up with uh, this kind of glow will happen to the photographs. So to get right the problem, uh, people used to make a lot of jo job to do color correction and all things, but they come up with a solution called red dye. So it works particularly on the red color to turn that into black color. One button go out. So red color turns into black color. But software doesn't understand what is called eye, what is called nose, what is called like body structures. It has been programmed like uh, if we find a red color, turn that into black color. Th th this is what has been given the command. Command has been given in this way. If you find somewhere red color, uh, turn that into black color. So this is the coding has been written. So it is not like eye, anywhere red is there, it can be turned into black. So hope we have understood now all these tools. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Five tool at a stretch and six, seven, eight tools. Along with that, we have started with clone stamps, nine tools. That's it for the day. So check on these tools, how it is working. And uh, anyhow, it is in record. You can see and practice. Is it okay? Hello? Just a minute, someone. Is it okay, somebody? Yes, sir. Fine then. So we'll rest off. So what is the summary of the class? What are the tools we have learned? Sir, no, sir. It, ah, it yes. is just 850. I don't have class. It's Saturday. Okay, okay. Then then it's okay. I, we can continue for a while. Okay. Fine then. So now we'll move to the same clone stamp tool. Because I thought of like you were late for the class. Fine then, uh, now clone and stamp tool in a detailed format will move. 
So let us make a summary of it. The tools we have covered today. Let us note it down. So it will not make us confuse. The first tool we have learned is what? Pencil. Then color replacement tool. Color replace. Then color mixture. Then spot healing brush. Next healing brush. Next page tool. And then we have sent content away tool. Content away tool. Now the eight red eye tool. Yes, this is the eight tools we have learned. Now the ninth number tool we are using that is called clone stamp. So these are all the things with the same hotkey called B and we can use the shift B uh, to move from one brush to the other brush before the brush is there. Now healing brush and all with a hotkey J. So all these tools work with the keyboard shortcut J. That means shift J. Now the clone and stamp tool work with the keyboard shortcut S. So now we can jump to the clone and stamp within fraction of a second by the keyboard shortcut S. So the, this tool and another tool we have learned that is called healing brush. This both tool working method are same. What is the working method? Alt and click on source and go to the destination and brush, then brush. Step number one and step number two. So both of them working in the same manner of walking. But what is the difference between there and job is also the same. It takes the information and paste on the destination, but it mix with the environment. It doesn't mix with the environment. State way, it take the color and paste as it is, but it mix with the environment that's why the name is called healing so it's a competitive study between these two tools because they both are doing same job method of working also the same but what is the difference it mixes with the environment it doesn't mix it blend with the environment it doesn't blend it plays exactly the same way that's why the name is clone so hope uh, it's the ninth number tool we are learning but in a competitive manner so hope it is reaching Let's move to the clone stamp. Now clone stamps not only takes the information from here and paste on the same screen. And uh, it does have a, a lot of operations. Like we can take this I and paste over here. Yes, let's start with clone stamp. As it is, we can have replaced. Now, if you need to get turn the angle, then there is a clone and stamp tool window is there. This one. Here you can change the angle. You can turn the angle to 90 degree and start up pressing it. So hope we have understood now how does a clone and stamp tool can able to make the photo manipulations to the next level. Is it clear? So what is the window? Clone and stamp window. Where it is, we can find it out inside the Windows menu because any window can be fly, find it out from here also. Clone window. Clone source. Get it out. Close. And the next thing. At a time, we can also take five different source. Now we have taken the eye. Now we are taking the nose. So nose. And whenever we need the eye, we can paint the eye. And whenever the, we need the nose, we can paint the nose. So, but there is an option called alignment. 
what is that alignment on the source we can make it off then what happen n number of eyes you can able to form if alignment is on once you are clicking somewhere that becomes the registration point from that the source will move so now got to know alignment on makes one time pasting only once again check to the screen alignment is on then if you are taking the source once then even you lift your cursor you are painting here then the source will come to the right side so you can see now the source is also changing as if you are going right it is moving to the top because we have rotated it we have rotated up now if it is off then what happen the number of time we click the number of eyes will form so now got to know what is called alignment on and alignment off and what is the next thing we have understood how to open the source window clone source and how to change the direction of your source and how to take multiple source from 1 2 3 4 at the time you can able take five source next you can take the information from one image and you can paste it in the other image so here we need to get it pressed it is possible so hope we have understood now how to take the source information from one source and get it pasted in the other so these are the extra informations you got to know but where it is practically used to make the pimples scratch and all remove it is widely used so let us have a practical uh, approach to this so we need to remove the, some some of this spot so the same photo restoration can be used up here now copy it up so before we have seen a number of uh, tools to get it used but now clone and stamp tool can able to help us much more faster way so take the information hold the alt button click over here now get it to turn into zero and make the size down and get it play so hope we have understood now how to hold the alt button get it paint and hold the space bar move it up now take a photograph and make it clean with the clone and stamp tool if it is happening then the tool is under your grip so we have understood now how to make the clone and stamp to get used what we are doing now holding the space bar moving the canvas holding the alt taking the source releasing the alt go to the destination paint and this is the job to be done right so you know where from you are taking the information and where you are pasting so get it clean up so it's be artistic get this that means you are seeing two type of cursor one is plus one is circle plus is the place from where the information is going if you are making the plus to come to the height level then you can see now the height start up happening because the plus is moving on the height side so now we have understood how to remove the patches from the screen by the help of your clone and stamp tool and and get it place and clean the hard line first so initially it look like a patch but later on with your finishing touch up we can remove it by the way because clone and stamp tool will not mix with the environment so very solid information it will place and clean it up because it maintain the same texture but healing and all things will kill the texture so that's why more or less they use this clone and stamp tool and yes it depends upon the brush what we are taking same patches will come on so it should be a little smooth so get the hardness down and start playing is it okay so hope we have understood now how to use the clone and stamp tool now coming to the face yes each and every spot can be removed take the information from this nearby and get it clear right so while working with the face it will be taken care the color has to be taken from the neighbor only if you are taking the color from here and placing over here then the lighting will change and that will not look good so always uh, use the nearby pixel with your clone stamp tool and yes so photoshop is very easy only you should have a little patience to get it clear and the logic if something goes wrong then 
control Z and alt control Z can able to make us to go back. Yes. Now start up working with the pixel level. Pixel level means very zoom, 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 and each and every pixel can be clear then after. So the output will be very perfect. So the higher the zoom, the higher the details. And higher the clarity, zero error. Like error will be there, but error will be minimized. And while you are working with this much of zoom, then we miss the judgment where we are inside this all. Photograph. Then you can switch to the option called Windows, and there is an option called Navigator. Navigator is a small place where you can see the things where your spot is. And we can enlarge the Navigator to a bigger zone to see the things in detail. So here we can have to shift the position. Now it, it is a professional way of doing the work. So what we have opened, Navigator. What is Navigator? It is the thumbnail of your whole photograph and it shows the position where we are now. And you can clear it up. So this is one of the tools which can be used. And the next is going to the windows and asking for arrangement and you can create a new window from the existed screen. So this is again a beautiful option. So I'm just closing all the things which is not required. Now two information on your screen. This is one of the place and this is a same window here we are doing the work and we'll find the reaction there so if you zoom it up same two photograph with clone copy informations so if you're putting a red line over here so let us take an example to understand and yes so what you're seeing you can find a reaction here so this a window, it is not duplicate. Duplicate is different and make the image from the Windows menu is different. Duplicate can be done from edit menu and duplicate. Where is duplicate? Image duplicate. In duplicate, we don't find a reaction. If you're making something change here, so, to know what is the difference between duplicate option. So here we are putting a line. We don't find a reaction inside the duplicate. We do, don't get any reactions. But if you find this, oh yeah. so let me close this one. Yes. So I have missed off uh, the original image. So let me close you all and let you know like what is the difference between duplicate navigator and a image done from the Windows menu. So let us take a new file, paste it up. So we have got this. So let us make three things now. What is the first job? To get a duplicate and duplicate can be form form. Image menu duplicate, yes. So here we have found this is original, this is duplicate. How to know this is original duplicate? This is a person called copy written over here. Can you see? Copy. And here there is not written copy. So we have find out now what is a duplicate and what is original. Now we'll make a again copy from the Windows arrangement and new window. So now three things are there. You can get it arranged uh, beside to each other, and a navigator is there. Fine. So here a copied version. This is the copied one, and these two are clone. Now we'll start up making a straight line. Can you able to see the difference? It doesn't impact over here. If you're doing anything, either of the other. You are making something here, you find the reaction here. You are something doing here, find the reaction there. But it is not happening. This is the difference between duplicating and making a new window from the Windows menu. So why to use this? 
because sometimes it will be working in pixel format very zoomed way at that point we can see the destination where it is happening but what is the impact that cannot be shown in here because it is very small so at that point we can find the output over here you can see the output in a visual manner and you can work in a pixel manner here so hope we can see the destination is changing so this is the benefit of working with windows lens and new windows from entitle so hope we have understood now what is the difference between original duplicate and a new window from the windows menu and what is called navigator and where to use navigator will help you out to know your position where you are working and you can move it up to what extension to whatever the place we want to move rather than holding alt and dragging like this and here you can see the final output here here we can do the operation and to let you know we have duplicated but it doesn't require for us now so navigator is to show the position here the working will happen here the result will be visible so this is the arrangement to be done to make any work is it clear now the task uh, make a particular damaged photograph to get clean up the environment first later on we'll go to the face part environment clean up some scratches and all things through the uh, tools we have learned today clone stamp and all tools is it okay so i am um, yes.